Theophylline. Theophylline is a long-term treatment for wheezing and bronchospasm control in COPD and asthma. Theophylline is a caffeine derivative that relaxes smooth muscle and causes bronchodilation. It comes as an extended release capsule or tablet that needs to be taken on a regular basis. Theophylline is not used as a rescue medication. However, it is also not used as first line due to its many side effects. Nursing interventions. Due to its caffeine-like properties, theophylline can cause tachycardia, insomnia, and restlessness. Other side effects include GI upset and headache. Theophylline is not used as first line due to possible toxicity. Theophylline has a narrow therapeutic range of 10 to 20 microgram per milliliters. Toxicity occurs when the level is more than 20. It is usually due to overdose or concurrent intake of medications that increase serum theophylline levels. These medications include beta blockers, ciprofloxacin, and cimetidine. Severe theophylline toxicity can cause seizures and life-threatening arrhythmias. Other signs and symptoms of toxicity include persistent nausea and vomiting, confusion, and dizziness. Because of that, theophylline level needs to be monitored periodically and dose-adjusted based on the level. Theophylline also increases the risk of digoxin toxicity and decreases the effects of medications like lithium and phenytoin. Avoid caffeinated products as they intensify the adverse effects. Time for study buddy review. I will be reviewing the topic with you by asking you questions with pauses in between. It's like a virtual study buddy and flashcards for your ears. Okay, let's begin. Theophylline. What is theophylline used for? Yes, theophylline is a long-term treatment for COPD and asthma control. It causes bronchodilation due to its caffeine-like property. And because of the caffeine-like property, what side effects can it cause? Yep, you may see tachycardia, insomnia, and restlessness. Theophylline also has a narrow therapeutic range. What is the range? That's right. Theophylline has a narrow therapeutic range of 10 to 20 microgram per milliliters. That's why theophylline is not used as first line due to its possible toxicity. What can lead to theophylline toxicity? Good job. Theophylline toxicity usually occurs due to overdose or concurrent intake of medications that increase serum theophylline levels. What are some medications that can increase theophylline level? Medications like beta blockers, giprofloxacin, and cimetidine can increase theophylline level and cause toxicity which is defined as theophylline level of more than what? That's right. More than 20. Again, theophylline therapeutic level is 10 to 20 microgram per milliliters. Now let's talk about theophylline toxicity. What are some signs and symptoms of toxicity you need to monitor for? Yes, signs and symptoms of toxicity include persistent nausea and vomiting, confusion, and dizziness. Severe theophylline toxicity can cause seizures and life-threatening arrhythmias. Because of that, theophylline level needs to be monitored periodically and dose need to adjusted based on the level. Patients should also avoid caffeinated products as they intensify the adverse effects. You did a great job. Like and comment if you want to see more Study Buddy series. See you next time.